Hi, this is Ant Minor Repair uh, video. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. And you can hit the bell for notifications that I'm doing video. Um, I'm in the middle of a chip replacement. I soldered this with flux and a heat gun on here. Um, I tested the resistance between here and the test points here, and I didn't like the resistance. Running through the test machine, I'm, I'm doing a lot better. The old chip, um, you'd send 1.8 volts, it would get 0.3 and then put nothing out. I'm getting, um, I'm sending 1.8, it's getting 1.4, and then it's getting, um, I think, 1.1. So I'm making a little bit better connection with some of the stuff, but, but this chip is definitely not in yet. Um, so I'm gonna show you the technique I used to refloat. It's not really in a microscope. It's going to be, um, it's going to be just on this board with the overhead camera so that I can see. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to glare this just a touch. Let's see here. That's the chip. I wanna take that out of the glare. Let me see if I can get a better camera fix on that for you. Okay. So this chip is the chip I'm going to be working on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply flux to the legs, a good amount of flux, so that they're good and soaked when I heat them up. This is what I think is called refloating the chip. I do it on either side just in case. Not much there to choose for solder, but um, basically I've got a pretty good coat of flux here. I'm going to turn on my I probably ought to protect these resistors yet again. So I'm going to throw some flux on these again, throw some flux on these guys again, this small resistor, these capacitors, and these resistors. Okay, so those guys stick down. All right, so my hot air gun's heating up. Yeah, let me see. I want to kind of do this with the left hand, if that's okay. So here we go. I'm going to start heating up the chip again. Maybe heat up the board around it a little bit, get the flux a little bit more liquefied. And what I'm looking for, and you can't really see on the video, is these pins to become molten solder, nice and shiny. This side over here wasn't really that way. So I did it on the microscope for the first time. Um, didn't quite work as well as I wanted to, but this happens too. So this is a normal occurrence for me replacing chips. So here we go, let's heat this baby up. You see some smoke from the flux coming off. I'm just going to work on this whole area, the chip in general. If I overheat the chip, it'll kind of puke out this yellow stuff, and I know the chip's no good, and I got to start over. So. You can't overheat these. And if you see any black stuff that shoots out or is on the side, and you wonder where it came from, you got the chip too hot. So um, I see some good things happening here and some things happening here. Let's just keep warming this up. Try to reset this ship chip again. Yeah, so the other side that you can't see on the soldering gun, I see starting to poke out and be shiny and, and melting, so. So let's keep kind of circulating around here, this gun. See a little bright spot there. Even that resistor um, stuff is getting a little bright. Still some dullness around here. Want to get everything good and melted and then put the chip back down, basically. Yeah, I see that boiling and the chip spitting it out some more. So I think that's a good sign. If there was too much flux on the base, the chip can't sit down enough. So someone's calling me, but that can go. Keep that baby up. better from here anyway. All the way up to the top. Yeah, good. 
I think the chip is melted. It has the solder melted now. So I think I've got everything pretty wet. Just going to kind of a couple more seconds. And I'm going to pull it off, pull the heat off, and let it cool back down. Yeah, there you go. Let's see where that goes, too. Okay, what I do usually is I take a look at my microscope and see how those solder joints are. This is my digital microscope. Those look a little better. Not perfect though. And this still look a little problematic. So I might have to do this again. Um, let's check out the resistance. I'm having a problem with the chip's resistance here to the middle port, which should have read 2.5. needs to read 5. Or, I mean, if it was reading 5, it needs to read 2.5. Still 5. So basically, I didn't do too much to help this guy. This guy's reading a little lower. Yeah, he's still too high. He's okay. All right, so I think I'm going to take the tact of um, probably pulling this chip up again and replacing them again. Somewhere I missed something. I'm going to have to clean up the surface and repeat the process that I showed you in the last video. Um, I could, I've seen some people take a little solder and add a little more solder on either side. Um, I might try that with this chip and this time. I think I've got that perfected. So I'm going to run some solder along either side and then um, I'll, I'll reapply more flux and then I'll heat up the whole chip and see if the solder is brought down under and, and, and used to meet it. So um, this is the process. Thank you very much for watching.